While Nigeria has more than 500 pastors and prophets performing different miracles, yet there's massive hunger, poverty, diseases, and deprivation in the land, the English people that brought the Bible to us have none, not even one pastor performing miracle. Yet they are prospering, stealing in the name of the Lord. The recent battle between Martin's Ote, called the very dark man, and Prophet uh, Jeremiah of Moto Fufei, aka Pastor J, but I won't even call him Pastor. For this, for their purpose, has brought again to the fore the stealing, fraud, and destruction going on in the name of Christianity or religion in Africa and Nigeria, especially. How do you say God is kind, all knowing, omnipotent, omnipresent, merciful, and gives freely, yet sell all sorts of items and, as miracle products in the name of the same God? No, be juju be that. Taking a look at the various products these pastors sell these days, including the ones from this Mr. Jeremiah Omoto Fufeng, as I can't even call him prophet, ranging from miracle soap meant to cure diseases and benefit those suffering from disappointment, failure, and delay in achieving their goals, to the one he calls mustard seed, which he claims is a gift from God, capable of helping people overcome obstacles, especially those facing unforeseen building challenges. Can you imagine building challenge? You so you need miracle or mustard. Then miracle perfume and spiritual shirt, which he claim can defend and bring blessings, you know, to good, uh, be, be good news powder, uh, what do you call it, uh, back to sender water, miracle handkerchief, miracle favor oil, miracle stone, miracle key. If you see the way he even received that key, which according to him was given to him by God, it was so mocking of God, you know, to... All kinds of operation, no mercy for your enemies. And then the pool of Bethesda waters, all sold at exorbitant prices to unsuspecting congregants who feels that the government has failed them in the provisions of social amenities. Hence the mad rush to fraudulent miracle centers, masquerading as religious centers. You can't but see cheap lies and fraud and deceit. And yet, educated people still put their head there. The blindness of Nigeria, including some of these so called educated people, following these people. It is to say the least shocking. It is so bad that they pour granite oil for my friend body, saying anointing oil. And he was there believing that truly he's been blessed. And so far, one killer now. The most unfortunate part of it is that it's the silence of government and the regulatory agencies like NAVDAC and then, um, you know, EFCC that is supposed to license this product for uses or consumption. Even the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, is silent on the huge economic fraud being perpetrated by this god of men who are daily defrauding gullible genuine worshippers using their influence as a, a spiritual leader. How is this practice different from Yahoo Yahoo fraud? Anyway, I leave that to EFCC to judge. How Persigo claims say in soap they cure both poverty or that he, he, he shared they bring good luck in the midst of hunger in the land and the police have not invited such persons for questioning. Anyway, what in Ivory they talk, self. That is, if some of these police officers don't go this place to look for good luck about promotion and good posting. Yet, people who should know turn a blind and deaf ear to these things. Even the Orthodox churches like Catholic Church, Anglican Church, and Co. are today known, who are well known for solemn worship, and now jumping into the bad wagon of uh, this miracle item craze. As all kinds of ministries are springing up, go to Nicha Enugu, you have them everywhere. Everything now is about money, anointing and breaking of yoke of bondage and perceived poverty. Yet, nothing. The hunger is biting hard. Anyway, wait till I know, Seth. You will hear statements like, I want 50 people to come out and buy this St. Michael candle for 1 million naira. And they go sell them to the rich 1,000 naira and 500 naira. As there's no limit to whom they collect from. You even ask somebody to sow seed for his unborn children. Imagine telling a woman that you have been pronounced pregnant, and yet the man is not pregnant. Unborn children, the person never born, you're asking him to bring money for the unborn children. Anyway, government, they chop from public purse. Fake pastors are chopping from the lean private purse of worshippers without remorse of, of repercussion. And we are quiet, claiming touch not my anointed, or uh, uh, do my prophet no harm, leave it for God. Which anointing, or which God? The one when they inside soap, or the one inside shirt or perfume. Or the one they are mocking every day with all kinds of fraud? Is that the same God you say we should leave it for? 
The world today is developing into is de deploying technology to solving complex problems. We are here allowing fraudsters to claim religion as a solution to simple problem. Shame suppose they catch us as a people. A simple question on the ingredients of the soap you claim is working magic. In case of allergies, and the man, both went straight to court to seek restraining order, thinking that it will silence people from pointing out his fraudulent at activities. When men begin mount to defend the suit, he chicken out with his tail between his legs, claiming forgiveness. Did he not see forgiveness in his Bible before he approached the court for a restraining order? However, it should be remembered that people like us will not keep quiet and will continue to point out this error. Because if only you know the huge number of people that are falling prey to these frosters, the number of homes that they have destroyed as a result of false claims and prophecies, and there's so many people that have died and are still dying daily, and falling prey to their antics, you will weep for this country, country and you will not keep quiet. We cannot be preaching against bad governance and then keep quiet against fraudulent and yahoo yahoo uh, religious practice. So I will therefore advocate that if truly the essence of government is the security and welfare of the people, the federal government and the state government should, as a matter of urgency, set up an investigating team comprising of the police, the DSS, the EFCC, NAVDAC, Minister of Justice, Minister of Finance, Federal Inland Revenue Service and State Inland Revenue Fe Services to at least verify claims of taxes from this their business. And then the claim of these various people claiming to heal, raise the dead, drive hunger, bring food, bring good luck, and insulate people from poverty failure. Failure which we might soon wake up one day and a so-called man of God has raised an army of young, vibrant, unemployed youth as soldiers to fight the government. Or even cause mayhem to anybody that dare critique them. Or even, we might even have another Guyana tragedy in our hand where a fraudulent person can claim to hear directly from God and ask all his members to sell their asset and come wait in the temple for the coming of, 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 of the Lord where they will at the end of the day be killed and then will not be running a task -getter. Don't just say God forbid though because you need to expose them for God truly to forbid. The religious extremists we, 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 we failed to curb yesteryears in the far north have today metamorphosed into Boko Haram and banditry today and yet, you know, the bigger monster of fraudulent and religious rascality who are brainwashing people and stealing the name of the Lord is telling us in the face and we're not doing anything. We must wake up and wise up. Nothing they feel do, nothing. They'll threaten you with spirit and all of that. It's a lie. Anyway, as a matter of fact, the way I the verse reach, if I continue, time will not permit us. I feel like going on and on and on, but time is not our friend here. So feel free to add your voice to our ask by sharing and adding your comment on all our social media platforms shown on your screen. Let me use this opportunity to thank all the lawyers, the people that reach out to me as volunteers, and those even willing to contribute their money when I volunteer to defend very dark man pro bono, that's fear of charge, in the suit against him by Mr. Jeremiah. You guys are really the heroes and defenders of the common man. Always remind those crazy bald head that no matter the insult, threat, or intimidation, our face, you no, know, they fear their face. Now, our face, their face, they fear. See you next week.